What's up everybody? Welcome back to Horsepower Obsessed. Today we are going to talk about the 2022 Z06 and some E-Ray information that was recently leaked. All right, guys, so we have talked about the Z06 on this channel a lot, and most recently we've been discussing the E-Ray a lot as well. This next leaked bit of information comes to us from the guys over at the midenginecorvetteforum.com. We have talked about them in the past as well. They are a wealth of knowledge, and it's a pretty great place to be. If you guys are interested in any C8 Corvette information, definitely head over to the midenginecorvetteforum.com and set up shop, because it is one of the better sources of information for for the C8 Corvette in all of its variants. But before we continue guys, if you could please go ahead and smash that thumbs up button, let YouTube know you are liking the content so this video gets circulated to as many automotive enthusiasts as possible, I would greatly appreciate it. And while you're at it, if you could please go ahead and smash that subscribe button and hit the little bell notification right beside it, just to ensure you do not miss any future uploads like this one. Moving on though guys, let's talk about what was leaked and why it's important. So like I said, over at the mid -edge corvetteforum.com the whole article starts out by saying let us start with thanking don sherman at haggerty for surfacing the below chart which source per don comes from gm's executive director of program management so right off the bat we are greeted with a very very official sounding thank you that is implying that we are going to see some sort of chart that is going to make us all very happy so stay tuned for that now, apparently this chart came from an early COVID response, which was temporarily shelving all vehicle development, but apparently that is soon to be put to rest. So we are definitely back on track for these updated, more performance-oriented models that are supposedly coming very soon. Now, let's get into the real juicy bits of this. So you guys have seen this particular chart before. This is going over all of the different Corvette models that are to come, how much horsepower they're going to have, and all that good stuff. But what Dawn over at Haggerty was shown from the director of program management was an updated chart that included different numbers and different names. Now, we've talked about this before with the 2023 model not being called a Corvette Grand Sport anymore, and instead they're going to brand it the Corvette E-Ray. And here is the new chart with numbers scratched out and new ones written in. Before really digging into any more information on this particular post, I am starting to suspect this is way, way more likely what we're going to get for a couple different reasons. Number one, the 2022 Z06 was supposed to have 650 horsepower and 600 pound-feet of torque. Right off the bat, that doesn't make sense to me unless the car was turbocharged. Not really because of the horsepower, but because of the torque. A naturally aspirated flat plane crank is not going to be able to create 600 pound-feet of torque without turbo support. Now, with the updated numbers showing 525 pound-feet of torque, now all of a sudden, that's a little more doable. So, again, we're kind of back to thinking the Z06 is going to be naturally aspirated and not turbocharged. For those of you who've been following the channel, this has gone back and forth a bunch of different times with the leaks, some saying, yes, definitely twin turbocharged, other ones saying, nope, it's going to be naturally aspirated. These numbers definitely scream naturally aspirated to me. Now, the other reason why I think these numbers are legit is because of the horsepower. It's showing 675 instead of 650. I feel like that's exactly where GM wants to be. They want to barely edge out the previous C7 Z06 while maintaining something that is going to be good for the car and not exceed the limits of the naturally aspirated flat plane crank. So 675 still gives us 25 more than the previous generation Z06, which is definitely going to be a big thing for a lot of people looking at these numbers on paper. And the 525 pound-feet of torque is definitely more in line with a naturally aspirated flat plane crank. So like I said, this seems legit. Now moving on to the 2023 where we get the Corvette E-Ray replacement of the Grand Sport, and these numbers seem to be a little bit more in line with what the electric or hybrid assistance can offer. We've talked about the E-Ray in the past, and it is likely to have the exact same engine that the current base model C8 has in it with a hybrid-assisted front motor that is putting out additional power on top of that mid-mounted engine. So with that said, the numbers here have been crossed out. They were originally 600 horsepower and 500 pound-feet of torque, and now it is taken down to 550 horsepower, 
but boosted to 550 pound-feet of torque. Now again, these numbers seem to be a little bit more legit to me than the previously reported 600 horsepower and 500 pound-feet of torque, but there's a reason for that. We have the same engine as the base model C8, so that's 495 horsepower, plus we're gonna add a little bit of a hybrid motor to the front wheels. It is likely to not be as great or even as powerful as the hybrid motors that will be added later to the ZR1 or Zora model, so this is likely only one motor instead of the two, or a purposely detuned model just to keep the power even a little bit lower than what we're gonna see later on with the bigger performance models. Now with that said, the hybrid motors are also known for creating a little bit more torque, so the fact that we're boosting it from 500 to 550 is definitely right up the hybrid motors alley. This all makes sense to me. I would feel pretty safe putting money on the fact that these numbers are correct at this point, especially since they are technically coming from an inside source at GM. If you guys are looking forward to the Z06, you can pretty much count on the fact these are the numbers we're going to get. Now this does say Z06, it does not say anything about the Z07 package, so there is still a chance that the Z07 package may offer a different engine setup. I highly doubt that that's what GM is going to do, but with all the rumors out there still suggesting some sort of twin turbo variant for the Z06, it is still possible that that may come later. But for the base Z06, these are the numbers we're going to get. I feel very good about these numbers, and they look 100% legit to me. But the post goes on to say that there's other differences and or similarities between the E-Ray and Z06. They are both to have 275 slash 20 front tires. The E-Ray is to have 315 21 rears and the Z06 is to have 345 21s in the rear. Now, let's just pause for a second there and realize how insane this is. So right off the bat, both of them are gonna have a 275 front tire. That by itself is a 30 series wider front tire than what we have currently on the base model C8. That tells me again, the E-Ray is definitely going to have a wide body setup. The reason I say that is because the stock base C8 that we have now has a 245 front tire on it and there is literally no way to jam a bigger tire in there without serious rubbing issues. So if we're going up a 30 series in tire, we are definitely gonna need a wider fender in the front. Now, the same thing can be said in the rear. As of right now, the max you can jam in there that I have seen is a 325 if you maintain a 20 inch rear wheel. The E-Ray is to have a 315 with a 21 inch rear wheel. So it is going to be a little wider in the rear. Now the Z06 is gonna have a 21 inch rear wheel with a 345 series tire. So that thing is going to be massive. It is going to need an extremely wide rear fender to house those things inside the rear wheel wells. All of this is because of performance. So the more horsepower you have, the wider you want that rear tire to be to get as much contact patch as possible. And with 345s in the rear, it's gonna be a pretty massive rear contact patch. Now, what I'm really surprised about and what I'm really loving here is that they're going with a 20 inch front wheel and a 21 inch rear wheel. Corvette has kind of liked the 20 inch rear wheel and 19 inch front wheel setup, but now they're moving up to the 20, 21s. That's awesome. I think that gives one of the best looks for this particular car. They go on to say that the E-Ray is going to have an all-wheel drive setup via one front electric drive motor, so we kind of touched on that a little earlier before I read that, because other rumors I've read have talked about the Zora model having as many as two hybrid motors driving the front wheels. So this one being only one is going to give us a little bit less power, but still kind of a taste of what the hybrid option can offer. Another note is that we're going to have some different front visuals. So the Z06 is to have front air ducts. A lot of the renderings of the Z06 have these front air ducts, and I get a lot of people asking me in the comment section, wait, why does a mid-engine car need air cooling ducts in the front? It's not really necessarily for air cooling. It can be for a bunch of different things. If there is a radiator mounted up front, sure, it's, it's for air cooling, but it's not necessarily right off of the engine the way it is in front engine cars. As you guys know, there are at least two radiators mounted up front, even in the base C8. So any radiator they put right there in the center would of course extract the heat right out the top of the front hood through these air vents, but they also could be there easily for aerodynamic support. So this particular leak says that we are getting some sort of hood vents for the Z06, something similar to a Ferrari Pista. But this particular leak says, no, it's more like separate air ducts, something like the Lotus has. This particular leaker said that it is stunning and he really liked it. The best part is, with these particular vents, 
the Ferrari Pista still has a frunk with decent carrying capacity. So we may not even lose the frunk capacity or worst case scenario, it's diminished by some. I think at the end of the day, we're still gonna have a frunk in the Z06, but it's probably going to be slightly smaller. And right after that, the leak actually goes on to say that the frunk may be reduced in size for the Z06, but for the E-Ray, it may be removed completely to house that front electric motor. They go on to say that the Z06 is going to have additional front aero components. We've seen that in previous leaks. We saw some dive planes up front, some corner canards, and possibly even an active aero Aero spoiler. This particular thread on the midenginecorvetteforum.com has some speculation in it. They talk about an intake duct that could make its way into the E-Race front fascia to help route extra cooling to its frunk's electric motor. The wheels are going to be different, of course, with the E-Ray being much more aero, while the Z06 will be more powerfully visual wheels, like we've talked about in the past with possible carbon fiber offerings, which you probably should stay away from. But they'd still be cool looking. They go on to say that the rear arrow is where we're going to see the major differences with the Z06 to have a big wing where the E-Ray could possibly have an entirely active rear spoiler for the least amount of drag and the best performance with that hybrid setup. But I've also heard that the Z06 could have active aero, especially on that rear spoiler as well. There has been multiple patents filed for active aero on the C8 Corvette, down to even having an active rear diffuser. So at some point, I am sure we are going to see some massive active aero on this car, but I don't know that we're going to see it on the Z06. The rear of the two vehicles will also be different with outer exhaust tips for the E-Ray to maximize the trunk and thus its cruising capabilities, especially critical if the frunk were reduced in size or possibly even eliminated for the E-Ray's front electric motor. The Z06 will have inner exhaust tips, likely in the center, like some of the pictures we have seen, or they could possibly come straight out the back in a McLaren style fashion. So these have been more of speculation on the part of the midenginecorvetteforum.com. The stuff we talked about in the beginning was all straight from GM's executive director of program management. So it is very likely legit. But some of these things later were more so questions or statements of pictures we have seen, leaks we have seen and things of that nature. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. So if you liked what you saw, please give me a big thumbs up. Let me know down in the comment section below what are your thoughts on the updated E-Ray and Z06 horsepower and torque numbers. I personally think they make a lot more sense, but let me know what you think down in the comment section below. If you guys have any questions, please also leave them down there for me. I will definitely read them and I'll make sure you get an answer. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do. I'm going to have loads of C8 and C7 Corvette information coming you are not going to want to miss. And as always, guys, I will catch you in the next upload.